Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to talk about the top 8 reasons for why a battery might go dead overnight. Your car battery is designed to store electrical power which is used to start the engine when the key is turned to the cranking position. If the battery charge warning light was not on the last time you drove your vehicle, the alternator is working correctly. A sulfur or rotten egg-like smell is produced when the battery is shorted internally either from age or being overcharged by the alternator. In either case, the battery must be replaced and the alternator output voltage checked. As the battery starts to age, three years or more, it will lose its ability to hold a charge overnight, which is the first sign a battery is ready for a replacement. The first thing we need to inspect is the electric seat control switch. This switch can become sticky or weak, allowing the switch to stay engaged, forcing the seat motor to draw power from the battery. To check this condition, observe the operation of the seat control switch. If it doesn't return to its neutral position or sticking in one position, replace the switch with a new part, which you can get from Amazon or a dealership. The next thing we're going to check is the glove box light. In most cases, this light is controlled by a small pin switch located in the box door frame. If this switch malfunctions or is misaligned, it will allow the light to stay on, draining the battery. This also applies to basically any other miscellaneous lights located throughout the vehicle, whether it be a side marker light inside the door or in the trunk. So make sure you check all of the miscellaneous light bulbs located throughout the vehicle. The next thing we're going to check is the cigarette lighters in both the front and rear passenger compartments. Check to see if the lighter itself is stuck down, which is usually accompanied by a fair amount of heat and a burning smell. Pull the lighter upward to stop the electrical draw. In this case, the lighter has gone bad and needs a replacement. It's also a good idea to remember to remove any accessories you have plugged into the cigarette lighters. The next thing we're going to check is the CD player. If a CD gets stuck in the load or eject position, it will continue to work the small motor inside the player while draining the electrical system. With a key off while being in a very quiet environment, listen closely to the player. If you hear a small motor running, the CD is stuck. Try to work the CD either in or out using a small tweezers or a flat blade screwdriver. If you cannot retrieve the CD, pull the radio fuse until you can replace the unit or have it repaired. This will stop the battery draw. The next thing we need to check is the door lock switch. It is constantly hot or live with electrical power. Sometimes the control switch will get gummed up with dirt or soda, which makes the switch stick in the locker unlock position. This will force the lock actuator in the door to stay on, which will draw the battery down. Inspect the lock switch to make sure it returns to the neutral position. If this switch is broken or permanently stuck, a replacement is required. The next thing we need to check is the side view mirror switch. Like the door lock, it continues to get electrical power after the ignition switch is off. This switch, like the other switches, can get gummed up from grime and other contaminants which can hold the switch, forcing the motor to draw power. Check the switch's operation to ensure that it returns to the neutral position like the other switches. If the switch is broken or is stuck, it will need a replacement. The next thing we need to do is check the vanity mirrors. They're located on the driver's side and passenger side, sometimes both or neither, and we need to inspect the light that sometimes accompanies the mirror. Basically, when the flap is closed and the light doesn't turn off, this can be an excess of parasitic draw and needs to be repaired or replaced. The final thing we can check is the ABS system. This will stay live even when the ignition key is off in most vehicles. This system has a control relay that is integrated into the module or fuse panel. If you have the key off and you hear something running under the hood or the frame, it's probably this unit. Locate the fuse for the ABS system and remove it from the fuse panel until you can replace the module with a new one. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com where our automotive experts are standing by to help for free.